Hello and welcome to another episode of Project Enterprise. This episode is a bit different. I'm experimenting not only with the paint but also with lighting, uh, also with paint as well. And what I mean by that is um, I've had to change the Arbery term. I've also added lights to the neck and I'm trying to get the the green and the blue right, which I finally have done. And uh, you'll see that, which has actually led on to another part of this episode, which is the masking, because I've got the, the color tones of the blue and the green correct. Yeah, I can now proceed with putting the masks on. And there's lots of other little changes as well. Like I've already said about, you know, lights to the neck and um, I, I've had to redo the Arbor Eaton windows and so on and so forth. And many other little details as well. But this episode is mainly about and the mask in and the, and the paints that I've used. So anyway, without further ado, let's head on over to the desk and see exactly what I'm getting up to. You stay tuned. Bye for now. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Project Enterprise. And as you can see from, from my uh, work desk, there's quite a few things to discuss here. And yes, there's the masks. And uh, this will be the first time that I'll actually be, be doing them as well. But before we go on to that, I just wanted to discuss what I've done. Yeah, I've been um, experimenting a lot with um, the, the green and the blue, and I haven't quite got it right. Um, this green and that blue needs to be a lot lighter. Um, so I've had to order up some more stuff, and I'm gonna have to respray those again. But what I can do is these inner parts in here, just get me pointer, these inner parts in here need to be um, a, ne a neutral gray and the same on the back as well. And I've been trying for ages, yeah, to get a mask to go in there. And then I suddenly remembered, yeah, um, the mask design stuff. I thought, I well, I wonder if they got it on there, and they have. And you can see there, and I'll show you now. But that's what I really need to do. And obviously I need to do um, the neck as well. And I've been doing a lot of wiring. I can't put the neck on as well, because I've got to do the photon torpedoes from here. And um, things are progressing, if only slowly, because I literally have three instruction sheets to read. I have the one for the Enterprise itself. I have the mask design one to read. I also have the one from Tenor Controls to read. So it, it, before I actually put something together and finalize, I have to make sure that there's nothing else that goes into it. Oh yeah, and I've got the instruction sheet as well from um, you know the, the, the power graphics. So I've got um, quite a few things to do before I actually move on. So things are being a, a bit slow, but that's fine here yeah, because you know what, I'm getting a lot of enjoyment and pleasure out of this. But anyway, just put this to one side because um, I'll talk more about that later on. So we'll just get these out of the way because they'll just get in the way otherwise. But as I said, with um, oh, actually I need to bring it back, don't I? But I, but. As I said, um, what I need to do a grey in there, I noticed um, that on the Max Design kit, it's actually got it included. And if you actually see there, you know, those parts there are for the um, pylon inserts. So it took me a while to do it, but I actually did the weeding. And as you can see, it looks really good. This is literally, um, how it looks after you've done the weeding. And weeding is simply um, getting rid of the excess. And this is, basic, and this is basically ready now to um, have the Fablon part, which, I, there it is, the Fablon part here, the clear part, put over it and then taken off there and then put onto here. And that's something else that I need to do. Um, but what I wanted to show you was literally how I do the weeding because it took me a while to figure out how to do the weeding on this. Um, I tried doing it one way, didn't work, then doing it another way, didn't work. Um, so that's what I really need to do now. And what I need to actually weed out is the ones for uh, here, there, there, and same on the other side as well. Um, those are on two, two sheets here, yeah? um, sheet 21 and sheet 22. And on sheet 21, uh, you actually, with me point them again, on sheet 21, there they are there. So as you can see, I do love these instructions from Max Design. They're, they're really good because it really lays out how it's, you know, um, what the weeding is and what isn't the weeding. So that, so that there and that there and those there are, um, literally those there. 
so when you finish spraying them you, you put those masks over it but obviously i am not finished spraying yet but i need to get these ready for that because it won't be long before i'm, I'm finished spraying now these parts here are on a different sheet they're on sheet 22 which is over here and that needs weeding as well now, i'm not sure if i'm just going to cut that part off and um, just weed that i just might do because these ones are for the belly and for the side of the enterprise and i'm not quite ready for doing that yet i'm nearly there but i'm not fully there i still have a lot of lighting to do and a lot of painting to do on it um i'm also checking and rechecking my work to make sure that i can you know seal up that area and move forward so i'm not quite ready yet for those but i'm definitely ready for those there so that's what i really have to do is um just do the weeding it's just weed this out so i thought i'd do that with you guys and show you how i do the weeding and um you can actually see what it looked like because once you've done the weeding it, this sheet here should should look like that you know so that's literally what i'm going to do but what i've learned is just have a drink a minute but what i've learned is um you can't just rip the whole lot off it just doesn't work yet all the you know because it's so well manufactured for better use of words the whole lot will come off in one go so you have to take your time so that's literally what i'm going to do now and I, and I just literally start off at a corner like this and uh, you do get some tools well i could, where is it oh there it is you do get some tools with it as well to do this you get a nice little like hard credit card thing to do so you can use that if you want to but i do prefer to use my little um pick here so that's literally what i'm going to do here so we'll start off there and i've got it straight away and we're just going to get rid of all the excess that we don't want and as you can see straight away it peels up really nicely you know now what i've learned is to check with the sheet so as i'm peeling along yeah, i check with the sheet so and if you get a part that's like stuck like that you know then you just simply hold it yeah and there she goes she comes off now i'm not entirely sure if that there's a little part in there that corresponds with that now i'm not entirely sure if that's supposed to come up or not but for an area i'm going to leave it there now i've only now i've gone as far as i'm happy with so what i'm literally going to do is just trim this off here so i don't really want to go any further than that and that's just useless now so we'll just put that to one side and then we'll just carry on weeding again so we just literally pick up from where we left off and if you get that it's gone back down but you do get the mask that you want to keep sticking to the weed so you literally just push it down and smooth it back into place like that you know you can of course use the credit card like that you know so I'll, I'll actually use both tools so you guys can see it but uh, that's a perfect example as, and as you can see um the mask has come up with the weed and that's not what i want we want to keep that so using the tool literally go into the corner and she pops back down again and then we smooth her into place like that and then we just carry on getting rid of this because this one here is actually that one so keep pulling up more of the weed and i'm going to trim it off there because that's i don't want to go any further so get rid of that and then we just start again now obviously we're coming into this one here and obviously this is lifted up so we get our little tool and we just move it around yeah there we go I've obviously trimmed off a bit of the mask there but that's not a problem i can use some masking tape to um cover that up so it's not a problem but obviously if you get this kit and um you do this just be careful when you're trimming off the weed because you do make mistakes like i obviously just have okay all right just trim that by there Now I'm going to start in another corner 
This stuff is really sticky as well, sticks to just about everything it really does. Get my little tool. There we go. Got them again. And I just need to go straight down here now to this corner. Like that. And then go around it. And the mask is coming up again. So we'll push it down. Oh, she really doesn't want to go down, does she? Okay, right, we'll come at it from another angle. But that is def we'll definitely get rid of that bit. Just check on our design, so that's down there yet. So we can, we're by here now, so we can literally peel all that off. There she goes. <coughs> you can't get it one way, you get it another. Okay, right. the mask is lifted up again because we're literally coming around here now you know literally pull that up so just use the tool to push that down and she doesn't want to go down that end so I'm definitely going to cut that off by there and now we're literally going to come along by here by where these are so literally pull that up and I can see the mask there we go. Always difficult to get the weeding out. Okay, all right. There we go. So that one there is this one, and there's and there's its twin. So we'll just push that back down. And then just go around the corner like that. So obviously those two there and those two there. <coughs> so the two inner parts of the pylon, which is that one, are by there. And you can just about see them there. So we'll just continue down here. And I'm going to cut off that bit of weeding because that obviously it's getting in the way, that's obviously interfering. Yeah, but I don't want to go too far and make the same mistake that I made over there. You know? So I'm going to trim that off by there. There we go. Okay, so we'll find this the edge of this pylon here. We'll just go along with this tool. There she is. Got her. Okay go along and there we go that's it weeded now I'm pretty sure that there are um, inner parts in here as you can see by there um, but for now, because I'm not 100% sure if these should come off or not, because I need to uh, send an email to Mask to Gary at Mask Design and ask him that. So I'm just going to leave them in there, and it's no big deal anyway. Um, it's not, you know. So that's that one done, and I'm happy with that. You know, apart from that little mistake there, but that's not a problem. I can I can rectify that when I actually put this on there, and I can use some of, uh, of my tape. So that's not a problem, I can just duplicate that little corner. But obviously, you know, be careful, you know, when you're doing your weeding. Um, and it's about, you know, trial and error really learning as well. So the other one i got to do is this one, because these two parts here <coughs> correspond to these here. They go there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave those on this sheet because I don't really want to separate this sheet um, from the others but I am going to be really careful with that so uh, anyway without further ado as I say um, let's get on with it I'm a bit weary because there's an awful lot of detail here and I really want those masks there but um, it has to be done so let's uh, get on with it as they say so we'll, we'll lift it up at the corner like that and there we go. Now I know straight away that I've got a nice bit of excess here, so it can be a bit generous here. Yeah? We'll get our other tool, and I can see straight away 
there we go and those masks have actually stayed down perfect and I'm really happy about that so while I can I'm going to trim that by there Ooh. that's how thick and, and good these masks are that they'll actually persist being cut you know and we'll just stick that on there okay so we're now coming down that side okay uh, and that's coming off nice there that mask yeah we've got that mask as well you can just see that like this year is the start of that there those those two there so we know we're in the right area and there we go and those two there well really those four there correspond with those four, four by there so i'm really happy about that and we're just going to go down here and make sure that no there's something missing there i'm not too sure yeah one of the masks has come off i can see that definitely and we're just going to put him back down on there like that there he is he's back in place there we go yeah he lifted up because he is obviously there and that's part of that part there so well and this one is lifted up as well so we'll just push those down there we go they're back down and that's where you gotta be careful with this so i'm just going to trim that off there make sure there's no masks lifted up and there is still more lifted up so there we go yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty happy with that now i'm gonna trim that off there yeah, I can't see any more masks there. No. Okay, just going back down there. And that is the two. That's the one starboard one. And that's the other one. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm definitely going to. Ooh, I might actually pull this, this whole section off here so I can then trim that by there. And that'll make things easier for me so i can see just looking at my instructions right we're going down here if i just trim off by here can you stay on there and these masks are absolutely dying to come off they really are <laughs> you know but this is the fun isn't it you know this is the fun so okay just looking at my sheet and I got more that one to come off that shouldn't put those and just literally just pop them back down okay we're up to a bit here now and there we are oh, no we want to go around here because I can see there's a gap that runs up the middle and separates those masks so we want to get that gap but leave the masks in the place I'm going to trim them off there and there and there and get rid of that because that is that part there so <coughs> we're going to go down here these two coming up here is that one there and that one there Okay. Well, um, the masks have come up again. And when I say the masks have come up, yeah, if you literally look, that mask is literally trying to peel up with the weed, and we do not want that. We want the mask to stay on the sheet so that we can use it later on. But we want to get rid of the weed. So there we go. Right. Well, I'm really happy with that. That looks really good, that does. Okay. I'm just going to push it. Because the mask on the other side are trying to come off now. You know? I'm just going to trim this here. Because I don't want... We don't want that bit. Get rid of that. Stick that in there. Okay, all right. We need... We need to trim this bit off. This is getting a bit much. I'll just check my 
my actual uh, instruction sheet and yes that's fine I can go ahead and trim that there's no masks on here this is all weed as they say you know so I'm really happy with that just gonna give all this a good make sure it's all uh, settled down nicely okay all right so I'm gonna come along here now get rid of the, the weed there what have we got in the note? Oh, no, that's, that's okay. I thought I lost the mask there, but that's supposed to be like that. So that's okay. And it corresponds on the other side as well. Yeah, and that looks fine. That looks good, so I'm happy about that. We're going to take that down to what I can only describe as the intersection, really. And I'm going to trim it off there. Because otherwise you end up with an absolute handful of mass of um, weed. See what I mean by this stuff, it's really sticky, it's really great. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to um, using it. Um, this is going to really create that Aztec um, look, and I'm really I'm um, looking forward to it. You know, get a little tool. Can our tool get in there? Yeah, our tool can definitely get in there. So now we're literally, <clears throat> and if I rotate this so as to pop away, I'm literally coming down here, and as you can see, I'm literally coming down here. So I've done that part those four of those there and they're coming up on those ones <coughs> excuse me yeah and okay I'm gonna trim that off that's fine I'm looking at if I compare those four to those there and how they should look that's how they should look and I'm really happy with that so getting back to our weeding we obviously this is that intersection done and that mask needs to go back down and that has popped back up so we're going to go down to the next intersection which is this one here Oh, we seem to be on a bit of a run here. Will it all come off in one go? I'll be happy if it does. Yeah. No, nope, there's a mask there that sh should not be coming off. So we're going to push that down. There's another one there that should not be coming off. Okay, so that's the one side done. That's the other side done. Yeah, and that's it. Wow, I'm lucky they all come off in one go. There are some discrepancies here, so we'll just sort that out. Um, as you can see there, that's sort of like over overlapping a bit. So I'm going to have to relay that if it's not already in the same place. Uh, yeah, it's not in the same place. So where's my tweezers? So this is where tweezers come in. And put that back on there like that. That looks good. We'll just lift the other one off. And we'll put him back in place properly. There we go. There we go. Move that over a little bit. Yeah. And that's that. I'm happy enough with that. Yeah. There we go. And that corresponds with that. Well, I'm happy with that. You know, so that is literally how to do weeding, guys, of the masks. And, um,. In the next part, because I'm going to have, a, I'm going to go and have a nice cup of tea, will actually be, um, and it will be on this sheet, sheet number twelve. And I will literally be cutting these out, then applying the clear fablon, and then putting them on. So you'll get to see that, guys. But anyway, I'm going to go off and have a cup of tea, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye for now. Hello, 
and uh, hello to another episode of Project Enterprise. And as you can see, I've been a busy bee. Um, I've now finally got the green right and the blues. And I'm really pleased with how they look. I'm really, I'm really happy with that. I've also done these lights that will go up into the neck. I've also reworked my wiring as well, and that needed to be reworked uh, after a long chat. And obviously all this needs painting up. But what I'm going to do at the moment is, and as you can see, I'm ready to do a bit of masking, my first bit of uh, masking with uh, the mask design kit. I'm a bit like that about it because I haven't done something as um, intricate as this before, but I'm more than confident that I can do it. What I have done, and I've got the instruction sheet here, and as you can see, um, there's an awful lot going on here because I want to mask up these inside pylon bits here and they're literally in the middle of these guys and you've got to use the fablon to, to put them on with so because of that what I decided to do is I weeded all this out and as you can see I've chopped it all up already but I have also labeled it so I know that all these bits and pieces and these are all labeled correspond back to this instruction sheet because don't you just know yeah uh, I'll I'll bung all this in the bag and I'll just forget what goes where. So we'll just put these parts to one side. And just talking about this here, this is really nice, this is a, this is a really good thought. Um, these are actually um, window masks that will go all along the hole and I will be using these as well because I was sort of wondering how the hell I'm going to do these, you know. So I'm really appreciative of that sort of thank you mask design. But anyway, we're going to put the ones that I'm not using at the moment to one side, yeah? I'm going to put them to one side, because we need to put the masks on. And I watched, I read the instructions and I watched the videos and this is literally how I've done it. So, I've, so these are the ones that I'm going to do. And I've cut these down as close to the mask as I, as I dare to, really. And I'm just going to measure it up, because on the back of this um, Fablon sheet, You've actually got a nice little grid lines. So, taking our one mask here, yeah, getting it to the edge as possible. Just going to mask, line it up. And there we go. We're going to go from there all the way down there. And I'm not worried about perfectly straight lines on this because I'm literally going to cut it now. Sat there the other night doing not <coughs> weeding this out, this mask, and um, taking all the rubbish off it, and then cutting it to pieces, and then putting all the, the nables back on it, and I just thought, yeah, that'll do for me. And obviously I need another one, so I can just measure this again, can't I? You know, and where are we going? We're literally going, actually I'll get, I'll bring this back. Because they're both the same size, really, so it doesn't it doesn't matter that much. But yeah, that looks a bit right there. All the way down there. Down there. Nice, they're not worried about the lines being absolutely perfect, because I have catered for a bit of um, wastage, and um, Mass Design have been really generous with this clear Fablon stuff. I have more than enough here to do probably about two Blue Enterprises, actually. But that's fine, um, and, I'm, and I really appreciate that as well. So just chopping these up. Okay. So there we go. Now the next thing I've got to do is I bought out my little plying cloth here. Oh, actually, I have a better tool than this, so just bear with me a minute. I shall just get it, because it is sitting over here. And here it is. I can't think of the name of this, but here it is. <clears throat> I think this will be a bit better. I can't think of the name of this. Um, I know it's got a name. I, I just can't think of it at the moment. So, yeah. And I got my um, applying cloth as well, 
because I did have the like the credit card thing, but I put that down somewhere and I've lost it. I just don't know where I, where I've um, put it. I'll probably find it when I'm not looking for it because I thought you know that's how it always happens, isn't it? You know. So when you put this on, because obviously this is the side that will be facing to you. Um, if you put it onto a nice flat, even surface, and then you take a nice bit of a uh, clear fablon like this, and um, there we go. Nice and easy. And now, I just need to apply this on there. So I'm going to start in that corner by there. Don't think it matters too much if uh, it's not, if the mask isn't in here perfect, as long as it's got a good grip on it. Oh, and there we go, one straight on, no problem. I'm actually quite chuffed with that. It is sticky as hell, I'll say that. Okay, so that's the mask in there on the Fablon. So all I need to do now is literally take the backing off. And yeah, the mask doesn't like to come off the back end. So just push it down. There she comes, she's off. Good, that's just what I wanted. And then we just peel off the back end and the whole mask coming away in one piece so we'll put that to one side and typical me I've never forgotten which side this goes on so let's have a look there's a spot of luck that's the side it goes on so I'm pleased with that that goes right in the corner that bit there goes right in the corner trying to get everything to line up as it should really might do is actually line up these center bits because there's um, these parts here a bit just trying to really just trying to line this up so it's lined up perfect that looks about right to me on there yeah that well, is actually Put the next one down. Wow. And then put the next one down. And then the final one. And this is where my cloth comes in, because I've, I've obviously lost that little credit card thing, haven't I? So we're just going to smooth this down now. Smooth the mask into place. I might actually use this bit of fablon again actually and now we just peel this off and the mask should stay in place and it is how about that isn't that good i'm happy with that wow look at that i'm really happy with that okay so we'll do the other side I'll do it like that. Uh, and there we go. Make sure there's no uh, air bubbles in there. Because you just know that this is just dying to kink on you. And then when you want to apply it, you'll never, it won't um, sit properly typical so it just it doesn't want to come off the backing paper so I'm just going to start it for it 
there we go that's stuck on there because sometimes they won't it won't come off yet so all i've done is i've taken the corner and i've literally put it onto the uh, clear stuff and now it will peel off there we go there she goes nice and the whole lot comes off and i knew i had got like a little yeah see it so i'm going to have to put that bit back on I might actually be able to get away with going like this. Yeah, I've got away with it, that's fine. There's like an air, there was like um, an air bubble in there. Right, is that on there properly? No, it's not. Oh, bugger. Right. So I'm going to have to put that back on like that. There's like, um, or I haven't laid it properly. There's like a, um, it's like an air bubble in it, a crease in it, if you can see that. So I just need to literally put this, put the mask back on its back end, like that. And then peel it up. Let the whole thing, there we go. See it, it just jumped, because it's not, the mask is not lying on the fablon properly and then just smooth all this down and smooth all this down so I've got all sorts of bubbles in there I'm not too sure how that happened but it needs to be perfectly flat so there we go that's all that perfectly flat now and then we put the fablon back on top of it and that's better it's all lying flat now, as it should be. Perfectly straight and flat. You know, if I had put that on like that, I can only imagine what, um, it probably would have not have um, lied down properly. Oh, I've got this come off in one. And we just carefully take it off, and there we go. And that's how it should be. So we bring our little other um, pylon in. And which way are we going? We're going this way. All right, there we go. And we literally line, line this up to the edge. It really wants to stick on here, I can tell you that now. Line that edge up. And then we literally just, and this is so shiny, I can tell you. I can just about see what I'm doing. There we go. Right, it's running along the edge. But that is not. So we have to peel that one up. There's always one, isn't there, that should be using that. Where's my, ah, uh, oh, there it is. My little wooden tool. Come on, let me come. There we go, he's back on, just about, right there we go. So then we put him back down, so he's literally on the edge, which is right about there. That's better. And then I run a nice thumb along it, get all the creases out. There we go, that's better. Get my cloth. Because I can't see. There, yeah, isn't that better? And now we just take the fablon off. Clear fablon. Okay, all right. Mask wants to come away with it. Let's stop that. There we go. How about that? No, it's not right. Got a gap down here, and I got excess up here. So, okay, all right. We'll do that again, you know. Put that on there. I 
only problem is with peeling this off and putting it back on, you do lose um, some, you know, a bit of tackiness. But um, that's just the way it goes, you know. And um, it's, this really is. Well, you gotta start somewhere, haven't you? There has to be a first one, and it's as simple as that. So we'll take all this back off. Got to be careful because I've got joints here. Yeah, and they don't want to come up. I'm very concerned that if I mess this up, I'm going to have, actually, I might peel it off. Oh, it's going all peaked on. Doesn't want to come off in a big way. Okay, all right, let's start at the bottom. Nope, she don't want to come off. Hmm. What do I do here? Well, it's going to have to come off because it's not aligned properly, is it, at the, at the top and the bottom? Um, yeah. Okay, all right. We're just going to have to do it, really, aren't we? I'm gonna live with that because I can tell that trying to get this mask back off is gonna wreck it and I've only got one of these so I'll probably just touch that up down there the actual lines here are in a line um, but I'll have to touch that up down there so I'll live with that as they say so I'll just take the fablon off I'll leave it put it to one side yeah, there is a noticeable gap at the bottom, but I'll, I'll figure that out another time. I really will. Um, mm. Right, okay. I'm going to go off and have a cup of tea. And then when I come back, I need to put the um, masks on for that one, that one, and that one. So until then, stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back. Well, I was away having me cup of tea. I suddenly realised that there was no need for me to panic because the actual parts, the, there was another part inside here that I'd forgotten about and I'm spraying all this white as you can probably see because it's patchy as hell um, I'm spraying all this white so that fits in nicely so what I did, I took it, these little bits from here and I peeled these off individually and then relayed them again and they fit absolutely perfect and I did it on both sides so yeah, it looks good now. I'm really happy. So that'll be protected when I um, do my white coat. What I need to do now is to put the mask on for that, for these ones here and the ones over there. And I've already got them um, cut off. Just put them in there you go. I've already got them cut out. Um, and that's for the starboard and that's for the inboard or the left and the right. I can never remember. I can never get it right. But basically one's, one group's for the left and one group's for the right. And that's literally what I have to do now. What I've also done is, um, my, other bit, my other bit of clear, yeah, I'm going to use this on, um, on these I am. And I've literally been putting this on 
on here really you know, to make it not so sticky you know, and it's, uh, it's just about it's just about tacky now is a better description and that's fine that's absolutely fine um, so what I'm gonna do now is literally lay these so I'm gonna put that on there like that and this one is nope it's not that one it is that one that's great that is and that's going to go in there very nicely so that's uh the left or the right i can i can never i can never remember but anyway it's uh going on the underwing i think it's a better description with my little tool there it is it's on the underwing and we'll just take this from there okay all right Quite sitting on the um, Fablon properly, but that's probably because I peeled it on there. There we go, that's better. Okay, all right, there we go. Hmm, not quite sitting on there again, is it? So we'll just make a little bit of adjustment here. That's better. No, it is. That's better. Right, and then we just take this over. And which side is it? It's that side. Is it that side? Yeah, it is. It's that side. Okay. So we'll do. Just bring my knee in because I need to rest this. So we'll do corner to corner. Because that will probably be easier. There it is. That goes straight in the corner. That's nice. That fits nice at this. Yeah, let's go all the way down. There we go. Let's have a look, let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's not quite in there, is it? Not quite in there. So we'll just put that in again. That's that corner. Let's go into one corner. Let's go into another corner. Okay, all right. Peel this up. So what you know. Okay, so that mask is in there. Uh, it's not quite long enough to go all the way up, so I'll have to, I'll have probably have to do a bit of, um, yeah, because you see that there's a, there's a mask there and I got, I got a bit of a gap there. So I'm going to have to use a bit of a tape to stretch that out, as they say. But that's okay, that's why right, it's not a problem. I can um, add to that. Just got to find that bit now. Right, okay, that's that bit. I think I won't bother with the fab one because uh, I've actually got a really nice pair of tweezers here somewhere. Where have I could put them? If I can just find them. And typical, I, ah, there they are, I got them. I thought I lost them. So I'm going to peel that off like that. And then I'm going to move it into place. that 
and then I'm going to move it around. There we go. Is that in there? No, it's not quite in there. But that's okay. You now we can move this stuff around, can't we? It can come off, it can go on, it can come off, it can go on. Not a problem. There we go. And there, that's in there. And that's covering that very nicely. I'm very happy with that. Look at that. Covers it perfect. You know? And then the last one, which is that one there. And we're going to do the same for that one. Because that's working out a bit better for me. Using... Instead of using the fablon, just using my hands. So, you know, you have to feel your way around these things sometimes. So, we'll look here now. Short there, aren't I? Okay, all right. Well, put that on. I'll, I'll top that up with a bit of tape, so that won't be a problem at all. And now we'll do the other side. Uh, that goes on the other side. Yep, like that. I'll sit right down. Right. Just do the other side, and then once we put all these little masks on, then I can head on over to the spray roof and do all of the final uh, will do the um, the whitening of it yeah. so that goes on there like that so we'll look. perfect Move it into place. So you know, I feel these masks are saving me so much work. They really are. You know, I'm so happy about them. Yeah, that fits out perfect. That is really happy with that one. It's pretty awesome. That is actually. Well, yeah, we might as well do this other little one. And he goes. It goes in there. Hmm. hmm. I'm wondering if I've got these the wrong way around. So a little look here. I'm wondering if that one is meant to go over here. Now that looks like that belongs over there. I did read the instructions, but sometimes these things happen, don't they? You know? So look. No, that doesn't like it there. That is definitely for over here. We'll just nip in, we'll just stick him back in there where he belongs. Just move that over a little bit. There we go. He's back in this little home. Just get this one up. And this one goes 
it's not a problem because I can just get the old masking tape out and um, do a nice bit of masking really so it's not a problem I can get around this Here we go. Okay. Sometimes you've got to have the patience of a saint. You really have. Hmm, strange. That one doesn't, uh... Mm. Right, okay. Now do the big one, which is this one. Uh, yep. There it is. Put that one down there like that. Run it up the side, so it goes right in the, in the corner. Yeah, that one's a bit short as well. It's not a problem, because what I'll do is I'll, I'll get some tape, and I'll run some tape in here, because that's the edge of this thing and then silver a little bit but I can just add to these masks a little bit more you know it's not a problem yeah um, I might have put that one down a bit too low so we'll just go up a bit no it's right It's all fine, it's all good. I just need to add a bit more to the masking on that one, and on that one, and obviously on those two. But those two there are fine, and I'm happy about that. So that's what I'm going to go off. So that's what I'm going to do now, go off and just basically top up the masking on the ones that um, haven't quite fitted. And um, then I'll be over to the spray booth. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And... Uh, Stay tuned for more, another episode of um, Project Enterprise. Until then, you'll take care and have an awesome weekend. Bye now.